Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the second part of my series of how to design and print a storage box for the TS-100 soldering iron, its power supply, extra tips and accessories. So let's jump right in. What you're looking at is where we left off last week. We just got our square box, we got all our parameters in. We come up here to modify and change parameters. You can see the parameters we added in. Actually I did this off camera so you wouldn't have to put up with me watching all watching me type all of these in and I realized that I didn't have to type I didn't have to put the width of the last one in because when we get to that it will just be the only thing left so anyway let's jump right in let's start adding our compartments and so we're gonna create a sketch click click the create a sketch button we're gonna create a sketch on this bottom surface of the box so First thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch a, actually it's the second thing, isn't it? We're going to sketch a two-point rectangle, or R on the keyboard. I'm going to start by locking it into this lower corner because I know I want it there. The others I'm not quite so sure of. We'll figure that out as we get our dimensions in. So click, drag out. It's Right now my depth is highlighted, so I'm going to top type in PSU. There it is, PSUD for depth. And I'm going to hit in. Yeah, I'm going to hit tab. I was just thinking of something else for a minute. But um, yeah, let's just leave that because the power supply is our biggest, bulkiest thing. I was thinking about, about subtracting the wall thickness from it. But power supply is our biggest and bulkiest thing. Plus, I'm thinking I might like to stick a small LiPo battery in there and the little cable to power it off the LiPo. So... Tab to get down to width and PSUW for width and hit enter. And oops, I'm over I'm over the edge. If you see in down here, oops, let me do that again. PSUW, and you'll see I've gone over the right side. So what I have to do is say PSD PSUW minus wall thick, which was my name for the parameter for the three millimeter wall thickness. So now I have a, is that right? Uh, you know, it's still off the edge. So what I need to do is PSUW minus wall thick times two, don't I? So asterisk for times and two and enter. And there we go. So remember, you can do mathematical formulas down in here. Despite the fact that my dad was a mathematician and a statistician, I suck at math. I really do. And I think one of the reasons I suck at it because I've always hated it. <clears throat> I'm a person who likes to conceptualize what I build and what I do. And I always had a problem conceptualizing math. It's easier today when we can type it in and we can see it on the screen in front of us. But back when I was learning it, there was really no way to conceptualize it short of getting on a drafting table and start drawing it out. Anyway, there we go. We have our power supply compartment. I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to click on my... And there's two ways I could do this. And I'm going to do it the way which is easiest for me. I'm just going to extrude this whole section up and then shell it. What you could also do is draw a second triangle down there. Three millimeters, you know, wall thick, short wall thick on both width and length. Actually, wall thick... Yeah, just on width and length, and then just extrude the walls up. But for right now, I'm going to do it this way, because this is the easiest way for me. And we are going to extrude up box height. Whoops, I can't type box. Box height. And that's going to bring us slightly up above, so we need to say box height minus wall thick. And there we go. And enter to lock it in. And now I'm going to hit the shell. I'm going to come up to, I keep thinking I can hit S for shell, and I don't know why. I'm going to come up to modify and shell. I'm going to click on my top surface. And when it says how much, I'm going to put in wall thick. And there we go. There's our first compartment. Okay, to finish it, there's our first compartment. So I could probably do all this in a single sketch. But it would be confusing, and if I had to come back and change anything, it would make it tough for me. So I'm going to say create another sketch, and now I'm going to click this surface back here. 
And now I am going to draw another two-point rectangle. We're going to come to there. We're going to come out. And this one is going to be iron, iron depth. There we go. And uh, should I take the wall thickness out of this or should I just make the back ones small? I think I'm just going to make the back one small. Let's make this one full size. And tab and iron width. Enter. And wall thickness over here. Yeah, I am going to leave this one full size. So I'll enter again to lock it in. E to extrude. And we're going to come up box height minus wall thick. And modify and shell. Click on it. And wall thick. And there is our second compartment. Now we're going to create and I and I put in I put in parameters for both these compartments back here. And I said earlier, not realizing that when I'm done with this one, I'm going to have the other one is going to be the leftover part. So <laughs> I didn't really need to do that, but I wasn't thinking of it at the time. So create sketch back down here again. And we're going to go back to R for two point rectangle. <clears throat> Come down to this corner and I could do this without the dimensions, but I'm going to put them in anyway. And this is tip. Tip, what am I on? I'm on width. Tip width. And tab and tip depth. I was thinking of something else, but no, tip depth is what I want to do. Tip D. All right, I'll just pick it from the list if that's how it wants to be. Oh, I need to go tip D minus wall thick. Minus wall thick. All right? Minus wall thick times 2. So don't use the X. That doesn't work. You have to use asterisk. I'm enough of a mathematician to know that. And notice how it's red now in there in my little dimension field. When you're putting in a parameter that will not work, it doesn't function. Fusion doesn't know what you're doing. It'll make it red. As soon as you finish it and it likes it, then it'll turn it black again. And enter. And E to extrude. Click on that one. And we're going to come up box height minus, whoops, that was an equal sign, no wonder it's red, minus wall thick. And there we go. And E to extrude. Nope, I already did E to extrude. Cancel that. Come up and modify and shell is what I wanted. And wall thick. And enter. Okay, so I have one more left to go, so we're going to create a sketch on this bottom surface. We're going to do the exact same thing. R for rectangle. Put it down in this corner. Drag out. And let's see if I can do it right without having to do it multiple times this way. So we're going to say over here, we're going to say, and I called this, I called this tools. So tools width. And tab and tools depth minus wall thick times two and we're going to extrude this e to extrude click on it we're coming up box height and i sh should have put a box height minus wall thick into my parameter list but i didn't so you know that's life box height minus whoops minus wall thick enter and modify and shell and we're going to shell it wall thick okay now we have whoops and i gotta click okay to finish it there we have our our basic bottom for this box and all of our compartments so as I was looking at this, and obviously the big area near the bottom is going to be for the power supply and possibly the LiPo battery if I decide to include one. <clears throat> the next one up is going to be for soldering irons. The top one to the left is going to be 
four extra tips. The one over is for the Allen wrench and some extra screws. And um, the one to the right, my original idea for that was to put solder and paste flux in it. But I'm trying to find a, I thought I was going to, I kind of conceptualize this as that particular spot being a little more square. And I was going to think about one of those little lip balm bottles filled with paste flux from a larger container, obviously. And then when I realized that they're not that, it's only like 19 millimeters from side to side, that I'm not going to get anything like that. My next thought was to have that again and just pack the paste flux into it. Then I realized what a mess that would be to clean up and... So I'm thinking, well, you know, I have a 3D printer. Maybe I can just make a little insert for that, for the paste flux that I can then fill from a larger container. So the next thing we're going to do, and I think we're pushing the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to talk a little bit more and then I'm going to stop and we'll come back the next time. In the next one, we are going to convert this body into a component. And then we're going to add a second component, which is the lid. We're going to create the lid, and the lid's going to be very easy. I want a very simple lid. I want something that will fit on the bottom if I flip the lid over and put the main box onto it to save desk or fender space or, you know, roof space or wherever I'm using this thing. And um, I'm going to make a joint. And then we're going to look at a couple little neat things in Fusion. We're going to look at motion studies, and we're going to make a little animation of it that can be saved and sent to people. And this is just in its very, very, those last two things are just going to be in their very, very basic form. And I'm just trying to show you not so much as how to do it, but just to keep in mind that it's there and that you can do it. Because they're really pretty cool. And if you're making things for customers, it's really neat to send them a, um, a little animation with the thing coming apart, you know, the screw spinning and backing out and the lid lifting off and the different components coming apart and then going back together. So just enough of a basic of it to, so you know it's there if you ever need it. And I think that's going to be it for today. If you like my videos, if I've helped you out, please like it, subscribe and hit notifications. I have some affiliate links down below and um, that's it for today. Thanks everybody. Check back next time. Bye for now.